everybody and welcome back to another uh, Donat Sergei Prokofiev International Airport update. Um, now today we have uh, again a very snowy update. Um, now I wish we could say that it's nice and warm now, you know, uh, spring is here, but sadly that's not the case. Um, <clears throat> and it's because when I'm recording this update we had some snow, yes, in March, like in the middle of March. Um, and also we like when in real life when I, this update is based on March 2013 there was a bunch of snow in Ukraine in March time and even in April so yeah let's get into this update well all right starting off from the um, area near gate 5 um, here we have the Air Arabia Airbus uh, A321, A Airbus A320 with Charlotte's. Um, now this aircraft arrived in from Shara around 1 hour and 45 minutes ago and it is scheduled to depart in around 20 minutes but sadly this aircraft will be delayed for another um, 40 minutes due to weather conditions. Moving on to the actual gate 5 here we actually have a very um, unique visitor to the airport. This is the um, American Airlines 757-200 in the One World livery. Um, now this aircraft arrived in from Dublin, Ireland um, for, with executives from One World um, member airlines. Um, now they are doing a tour of the Eastern European locations because uh, they want to expand um, services to these um, location so they stopped here in Donetsk um, and they're gonna be departing to um, Rostov uh, in around 45 minutes now just taxiing here here we have the Wizz Air Airbus A320 and this aircraft arrived in from Warsaw around uh, five minutes ago and this aircraft is scheduled to depart to Dortmund in around one hour um, but it might get delayed a little bit due to weather conditions because um, we are getting some ice and snow currently at the airport. Now another air aircraft at the gate today here we have the Ukraine International 737-800. Now this aircraft is um, he arrived in from Kiev Borispol around 20 minutes ago. This was a crew only flight um, and he is scheduled to do a chartered service to Sharm El Sheikh in around um, approximately I would say 1 hour and 30 minutes um, but once again as I said with all the aircraft he might get a little bit delayed um, because of the weather conditions. Moving on here we have the um, UT Air 737-500 now this aircraft um, arrived in from uh, Kiev Giuliani around 30 minutes ago and it is scheduled to depart back to Kiev Giuliani in around um, 15 minutes. This is going to be a quick little turnaround because um, this flight usually operates around three times daily to Donetsk. Now the final aircraft at the terminal here we have the um, Transiro 737-800. Now this aircraft is scheduled to depart out to Moscow of Nukovo in around 30 minutes. He arrived in from there around 1 hour and 50 minutes ago. So he is just getting ready to uh, depart back to Moscow. Now let's move on to the new segment of this video. Now first news today comes from the investigation team that are investigating the aircraft crash that happened um, last month. Um, now they are concluding that it was not pilot error and it was likely due to foggy and icy conditions um, at the airport but they still haven't ruled out the improper maintenance on the aircraft since the aircraft at the time of the incident was around 40 years of age so um, they're still investigating that and they're saying that the final report should be um, released around June time. Now the second news today comes from Donetsk International Airport which says that due to the weather conditions at the airport there has been some damage um, to the 
airport facilities more including the passenger bridges that lead from the terminal to the parking garage um, the billboard uh, poster that was actually there put in November has started to fall off and um, this could create dangerous conditions at the airport because some of the pieces could go onto the gates and taxiways of the terminal of the airport and could lead to um, aircraft breaking. Um, now the airport says that they hope to remove the uh, billboards in the next week um, but they're going to remove the pieces that are falling off and pieces that could fall off uh, today. Well alrighty everybody I hope you enjoyed this Donat Sergei Prokofiev International Airport update um, and hopefully next update we'll have some nicer and warmer weather but um, as usually um, fly safe and of course Slava Ukraini!